Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. We're actually <laughs> reviewing the same toy tonight. Look at us. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. It's okay. Here he is. It's like so, the way we used to do things. There we go. Pretty exciting. Anna actually got a Hasbro figure. That's this is pretty much like really the deciding factor on this. This is that uh, you know because Anna has more eclectic taste than Christian and I. Because I'm not a sellout like you guys who just buys everything Hasbro. Hasbro shill. That's right. I'm a unique kind of goldfish or whatever. Or the fish got brought into it, but that's cool. I like fish. Trying to find the best placement for my pile of boxes. Pile, you, you're like, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say you were uh, pretty much just had half of it out, off camera, so. I like being completely concealed, so that was kind of a fun thing to do for a minute. There, there you go. So. Uh, yeah, the uh, vehicle mode, I guess we'll start there. Um, yep. Since, First off, uh, welcome yeah. to Legacy. This is Bulkhead. Yeah, woo. I don't know. It's interesting, I guess, what they're doing, but, I mean, at the same time, they're kind of running out of, you know, G1 characters, except for some of the, you know, later ones and, uh, you know, whatever, more obscure characters. So I guess they're going on to Prime and some of those, so... Apparently they decided to make the decision, or they whatever made the decision to make them try to fit in with the rest of G one rather than, you know, go doing Prime style. I I guess like it's funny because everyone's all like, "This is super G one fight bulkhead. He's not bulkhead anymore. He's G one bulkhead." Blah, blah, blah. But really, to me, he's just different bulkhead. Like, I don't really see him as particularly being G one fight. Just changed. Like, he's just another take on bulkhead. I don't. He doesn't specifically trigger G one for me. He just triggers a different take on bulkhead. You know, it really reminds me of um, the Transformers, the movie. Uh, what, what's the character again? Um, was it Hound? Yeah, Hound's a character. Wasn't in I the... don't think Hound was in Transformers, the movie. I've seen it like a hundred no, times. No, no, not the movie. The, like the Transformer movies. He needs live action. He needs the live action movies. Oh, he needs yeah. Hound is... John Goodman, John Goodman is Hound in Age of Extinction in the last night. Age of Extinction. Yeah, so this is what it, it kind of reminds me of a better version <clears throat> of that, I guess, in vehicle mode. No? Kind of. No, I just, I'm just still laughing at Christian and you and your communication. It was it was adorable. I Said enjoyed Hound it. in Transformers the movie. I think he's in the background of the scene when Optimus shows no, up I in meant, Autobot City, meant, right? But it was so the... clear what he meant because it's like, look at this guy. <laughs> right. Like, doesn't this look like, yeah, the, you, you're not uh, getting what I'm throwing out there, huh? No. It's like my favorite thing to this fandom is that if you don't say like the exact right name, people just like kind of do the headlights. I said headlights. the right yeah. name. I said the Transformer movies. You said Transformers. You said Transformers the movie. Well, I didn't mean that. Was like, Sorry. Okay, man. Maybe it was like co Transformers, comma, you know, the movie. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. Now we can talk yes. about it. It vague, It kind of looks like a better version of the hound from age of extinction yes yeah kind of so i was able to confirm first off that like my one minor complaint about the vehicle mode is that the way his legs sit in there they don't sit straight i asked earlier if lucas oh, had no. the same issue and he was like oh no mine look fine but they're they're just as not straight as mine no, it's, and i it's don't love that I, look i mean it doesn't matter it's not a big deal. It's just like a weird. It's just where it they sit. breaks up an otherwise really good looking vehicle mode. Like I look at the vehicle and I'm like, ah, oh, cool little truck. And then it's like, but there's like a, a support beam in the way this truck is built. That's like, 
Editing. That's how the suspension works on the trailer part of the truck. <laughs> that sounds totally believable as someone who doesn't know anything about car trucks. Oh, yeah. Perfect. But that's, like, it, really, for the truck yeah. mode. Otherwise, I like it. Like, I don't mind the fact that parts forms. Like, I, I always wish everything didn't parts form, but it's fine that it parts does. Forms. The uh, shell. Lid. Except it kind of doesn't, doesn't have to. Yeah, it, it attaches. You don't want to. You can attach everywhere. It yeah, you, you don't have to parts form it. You can if you want. I actually kind of like that it's, you know, optional. Like, you could, if you want to parts form it, you can parts form it. If you don't, you know, you can just leave it on the back. I didn't know if I would like in hand the fabric look of the shell. I really do. I think they did a good job with the molding on it. No, it looks really good. It could it's use fabric a question mark. Too. What? I didn't even notice it was fabric. Oh, yeah. Just green. But you're right, it does have the little fabric details on it. Yeah, it could use a you know a, a dust or a, a wash or something on there to accentuate it a bit yeah. more, but it looks nice. The, the molding is nice. You could tell it's fabric if you're not Anna. And, uh, you know, it looks nice. I mean, I think overall... I like the fact he has a, a lid. What? Ron doesn't have a lid, so I was happy this one has a lid over the head hole. Oh. Oh, yeah. The... Yeah, the lid covers it. It is weird that's a different color, but whatever it breaks it up you know yeah because it's entirely hidden in bot mode so it doesn't need to be any color specifically it could be red but yeah um i don't know i was so iffy on these transformer prime figures as like why do i need this in my collection um but uh i'm actually a lot more impressed having it in hand Definitely. I don't know what it was about those pictures. It made it look so weird. And I guess the initial look at it was so jarring. But, you know, we've looked at it for several months now, and now it's here. It's like, oh, this is this is kind of neat. So I really like this guy since day one, because I'm always the outlier. But yeah. I still really like it, so it's good. I like that it has storage for the weapons yes, in vehicle mode. Nice. And it's an intended thing. Like, you can also put the gun on top, of course, but the, the fist ball is not really going to have a good place to be a weapon on vehicle mode, so. Right. And you can give it wings. It could fly away. I kind of wish that it looked better without the, um, you know, whatever this top thing. Canopy? The canopy, I mean, whatever. On. It doesn't look horrible. It's just it a, look it's horrible, a trailer. It doesn't look like, but... Or a truck bed, I, I guess. Like I think it, I, I think it could be better. But again, it I looks bad without the canopy. Yeah. I think if you put some, I don't know, weaponizer bits in there, like it's a weapon mount, I think it looks fine. Probably, I haven't tried it Maybe. yet. Maybe. Yeah, I think it looks really bad without the canopy. Like it's not really yeah. an option for me. To me, it's just, just incomplete. It looks that great. It's like toy is not done. Me to finish. But that's not a bad thing. Like I don't care that it needs the canopy on it. <laughs> you could canopy, you could not canopy. I'm trying to figure out how I can transform this without taking this off. Just flip it up. Just don't, yeah, just flip it up. It doesn't flip up though. It does. Oof. Plastic on plastic, I don't like it. But it pops off. Don't flip it up that far. You gotta do it in the right order. You said it was flip it up. Don't, don't take it up. Don't take it up. Okay. <laughs> or no, don't take it off. I mean, I think overall, like the transformation is pretty neat. Um, I don't know. He, he feels really solid, um, especially for the Voyager price point. I don't know. I I mean, maybe my lo expectations are lowered compared to, you know, where we used to be, but I don't know. It's pretty neat. No, I don't they're think not. so at all. I ain't. Voyager. We've said it for you know two or three years now that Voyager is where the budget is allowed to shine. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is not an exception. No, I don't think so. I think this is a good. It's a good size Voyager. It's a good feeling Voyager. And look, he doesn't have solid. hollow legs. Yeah. Everyone always complains. They're full. I got stuff covered. Like, if you open the thing, it's vaguely hollow, but it's storage for other pieces. So it's like not even. Right. Don't even don't even trip. It looks like that. It's great. Yeah, it's fine. Like I, I like this. This is exactly what they should do with a leg that's about to be hollow. Just give it a little piece that you put over it as a lid. Yep. And it's not hollow anymore. But oh no, he's got a hollow chest. Mm. Dude. He does. Well, uh, it's a little uh, weird. It's but not, it's not I mean, bad. if you look at him from underneath there, it's hollow. But the windows are not so translucent that you're like, <gasps> it's just gappy no. inside. There's nothing there. They're, they're dark enough where it's like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Don't I was thinking that could be one bands. complaint. Oh, keeping it dramatic. We know we love it. He does have this wrecking ball, which is cool, actually. I don't remember seeing this in the promo images, but it uh, doesn't mean it wasn't there. It splits in half, and then it has a, a peg hole here to go into his hand. So it goes boop, boop, done. It's great. Good weapon. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. He's also got this Energon cannon or gun. That he can hold, or like you saw it on mine, it was in the shoulder mount position, which I thought was neat. Is the, um... This is some sort of... This is like the legacy gimmick. It has clear Energon weapons. I don't know if that's going to be a thing, or if that's just what they have, but... I think fine. that's he pretty much it. the big gimmick, isn't it? Yeah, but is it a gimmick if it's just an accessory that they have? I don't... Do they combine? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of wondering. It's got giant five millimeter ports on either side of it, so I don't know, maybe. It does feel like it can combine with something. Or maybe it's just five millimeter compatibility forever. They need like a hundred of them and that it's a build a figure surprise. He also the top also turns into the shield, which is like a riot shield that he can put on or it could just stick on his back. Totally optional, but it has detailing on the inside. Like this is the the vehicle mode form and then you flip it up and it's got like shield detailing on the other side kind of cool it's got a really neat color of green though it's like yeah it's a good green it's not exactly the animated one and it's definitely not the prime one but it's kind of somewhere in the middle where it ends up evoking both he's got a good head sculpt that does the same thing but not Related to the color necessarily, it just the sculpt looks like both of them, but not either one of them. Yeah, I can see that interpretation. It's an interesting little head sculpt. It's fine. Yeah, he he looks like he could go to G one. He doesn't look like he's been G one ified. I'm gonna agree with Anna there, but he does look like he could just hang out with the G one dudes. Right, right. I think it's a good like mix of you know yeah it's a good balance i'm really he's got way more than 90 degrees here on this chart that's cool i'm really interested to see uh once i get the rc like how it is because i know christian you said that you are not a huge fan of it it's okay I opened Bulkhead first, and Bulkhead's like, yay, this is awesome. That, spoiler, that's the end of my review. But right. RC was just like, oh, not quite as good. Right. She's not, I don't think she's bad, but like you open Bulkhead, and it's like, oh, yeah, cool figure. And then RC's like, oh, they tried something here. The sculpt right. work is good, but the uh, mechanics of it end up not working out so well for me. But I that's feel like a bummer. there's always, like, one deluxe that's like that, you know? Sure. <laughs> and half the time it's RC these days. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I still don't hate that old, the Earthrise RC, so. I don't either. It's, you know, it could be better, but it's not yeah, bad. Yeah, like, it's not, I, I don't know. I like the way it looks. Like, the transformation is dumb. Again, like, like I said on this one, the sculpt work is good. The mechanics end up not being so good. <laughs> I can't get my foot flipped uh, on the transformation here. I need like a spudger. 
That was way harder to do without taking the back off. That was not fun. It's a thing you can do, though, Anna. So. It's a thing you yeah, can do. I've proven it to myself that it can be done. I did not have fun doing it. I think he ends up looking really, well, now it's going to sound like a pun, but bulky with the, uh, the stuff on the back. So I do tend to use it as a shield as opposed to just having it back there. I actually like it on the back. I had never put it on there before because I never, I used to think of taking it off as part of transforming it, but I actually like it like that. Cool. I'm not sure what to do with the wings. I don't know if I want them flapping in the back or if I want them kind of coming into his arms or. Yeah, you can't really, I mean, you, you, they fold back so like that. Jacob was asking yeah. whether or not the two side holes are usable as like five yes. millimeter ports, like kind of, not really, I don't the, know. The I mean, side ones, no, but the top, yes. bottom yeah, the and top, front ones, yes. Right, yes, so like the, but the side ones you can't. They're a little too I mean, shallow, the, yeah. These ones are too you shallow. Could, I mean. There's probably something you can get in there, but. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, we'll see. Yeah, and yeah. I like the fact he can shoulder so cannon. Shoulder yeah, I think shoulder cannon looks cool. good. It does have dedicated pieces of that. They're, um, I don't know what size that is. They're little tiny nubs on the end. They have dedicated holes on the, uh, the behind the shoulder bit. I don't know what you would call that. Yeah, it but, works pretty uh, well. Yeah, it just goes right there. Boop. It works better on there than the tiny peg on Braun does. On the studio series B movie, Ron. Mm. So Jacob was asking, using the black peg, how much taller would it be on his back? Like I don't know what. Uh, I will find out. Is. Hey, you go for it, Christian. You be the tester. Looks like that. I think it's a, well, I had it upside down, actually. Try that. It's like the same. All right. Time. Yeah. I guess you could kind of put it using in the black, the whatever, five millimeter port, I suppose, and put it in the middle. Looks kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know, like, but what's funny is, is that this looks like so much more like a shield to me than any of the other parts that it, like, Cliff Jumper, you yep. know, is not really a shield. Like, this actually legit looks like a shield. I think it's actually pretty neat, like, pretty well. I wish it is had that because it has the it has detailing. Yeah, and it's also shield shaped. It's not just car bits. Right. I do wish it had one more ninety degree peg uh, here. So he could hold it in his hand like this. Because right now he can't. Yeah. You can, I mean, he can hold it in his hand, but it's not really a good way to do that. Can't you do that with his uh, mace thing or whatever? Yeah, you can put it on his ball. Oh, yeah. Ta-da. But then he can't use the mace, but I guess that looks well, okay. okay. You know what? We're just trying to come up with solutions here for you. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're His right. other hand should be a melee weapon. Or, yeah, well, that would be the yeah, mace one. Could, like, have on Shoot. The, I don't know. I do like the Anything look of else. This inter, um, I was going to say, I do like the look of this Energon weapon, though. I actually think it's pretty cool, like, the way they painted it. Yeah, it's not bad. So... I mean, if this, is our, if this is the gimmick of the legacy line, I think it's fine. That they're, that they're just weapons? Yeah, I'm good with that. Right. Except for Rewind became clear. Yeah. That was not great. But I'm sure... He's sure not bad at all. Sense. It's just clear. Just clear. I think he's a jet, not Rewind. Whatever. Because he's blue. They're the same guy. They're not the same guy. They are when they're clear. That's not true. They don't have any fiction when they're clear. You just gotta read the box, Anna. Oh, there you 
they're just one of them is blue, one of them is black. The blue ones eject. He likes sports. Anna, they're hollow. Anna would prefer to come up with their own names, Christian. I don't know if you've noticed this or not. I would. Yeah, yeah. Reject is the name of that one for me. Fair. <laughs> I'm sure he'll show up in a select pack next year. Probably. Or something. Honestly, there's so many exclusives that I, I would like to see out of this line. Like, I want to see this figure redecoed as Redhead, which they probably come up with a different name for him, but that prototype that scooted around right before Animated came out that was in red and orange. Like, mm-hmm. paint this in red and orange. What else are you going to use this mold for? Probably sure. something interesting, but, you know, with the head mold, I, you know, I'd be into it. Make that dude a thing. I don't care. Things are weird. We're homaging prototypes from G2. Let's homage prototypes from Animated. Sure. Yeah, why not? I'll take it. I think he'd be retooled into so many things. Oh, yeah. I think only... if he was yellow and, or orange and purple, he's G1 uh, Sentinel Prime. Because he's like, oh, he uses the colors from the cartoon, but also he uses the alt mode from the live action universe. And it's like Sentinel Prime, yay. And then they give him a lance and he's animated too. I don't know. I'm making stuff up now. It doesn't help that I have the box right here, but I, I think he'd make a good pyro myself. Probably. Sure. Because then he would look a lot like the um, the last pyro. The one you don't like made out of the Inferno. <laughs> but hey, put 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 the um, the fire truck bits on it, and that's Sentinel Prime and Pyro. So you know what? Fine. Yeah, it'd be fine. I mean, I'm sure they probably have an idea of how they're going to reuse this mold. I bet you. Oh, I'm certain. Uh, I, bet, I bet you the camper top, or not the camper top, the the flap top. That's why it's got all those extra five millimeter pegs there, or five millimeter holes, so you can mount the e- other accessories that aren't the uh, the shield top. Well, Jacob said that Beast Hunter is totally Optimus Prime. Um, Great, I could see that. Yeah, it could be fun too. Yeah, That'd be awesome. And they, that's you know, that's what this peg is for on the back. You get that wing pack put on there. Yeah, I could definitely yeah. see this being an optode. This would make a a believable Optimus of some sort. Yeah, it, it seems versatile. I like that it's bulkhead. I, you know, I didn't think I needed a bulkhead to go with this collection because you know, up until now, War for Cybertron has been primarily G1 guys and Legacy's, you know, still primarily G1 guys, though, with some others. This feels like it fits. This fits with everything else I've been building, and I'm happy yeah. he's here. Yep. No, I agree. I agree. I think this figure is taking me into Paul's trade. Where it's just like, G1 just means it's Transformers. That's... Sure. I think, as we discussed on Monday, as long as it's not BotBots, that's true. (laughs) Yeah, it kind of is. Because it's just like, you know, Prime and Animated were both super stylized. You know, people didn't look like people. People looked like very stylized, cartoon character type people. And the G1 universe, people were more, you know, classically drawn as supposed to look like normal humans type of deal. So it almost feels like all you're doing is taking away the stylizing and then calling it, you know, it's not stylized, therefore it's G1, but really it's just Transformers. Mm. I've yep. been converted. I've been converted into Paul's world of contrarianism. I'm not a hundred percent over there, but I definitely see the merit of it. But yeah, so it's neat. It's a fun toy. It looks nice. Yeah. Please go buy it. Yeah. I, I would agree. I, I think it's a fun, uh, fun figure. So they did a good job with it. Did you guys see the thing that would go with um with our core spike? Is that the they put the DNA kit out for slug today or yesterday or so? <laughs> uh, no, what, ha- what was it? It's it's fine. It's it's horns. It's a few little bits, and it is a new body or arms and legs actually for the Daniel Daniel figure mm-hmm. that makes him transforming. Yeah. Makes him into a toy, but like he's really at the it makes a crappy little accessory into a core figure 
and it's a $50 kit. So you would have to really want the other stuff that comes with it for slug. And uh, I don't want it that bad. I was not a fan of the Grimlock kit from DNA, so I will not be picking up the other one. Yeah, I just don't see the point in salvaging those little guys. They're now that they're coming out with because uh, what didn't they have a spike that um, is, core class is coming out, right? Yeah. yeah. So. so we're going to get that spike. Like it would be better off just to buy two of that and say oh, one is Daniel that it would be to spend $50 to upgrade your turn well, you know, into a perfectly good toy. You know, someone will make, your replaceable replacement heads for those to make one spike and one Daniel. And I'm good with that. Oh yeah. Right. 100% right. good with that. We'll review it when it comes out. Hopefully soon. You can give a replace. You can make multiple replacement heads. Just put all the humans in there. That's true. From all time. Every Army human. of exosuit dudes. That's fine. I don't think that mold is going to be good enough for me to want an army of it, but a couple it won't be bad. I have to think about it. But anywho, for Bulkhead, Bulkhead needs friends. He needs his animal friends from Prime. I would be fine with that. Or his his animal friend from Animated. Bulkhead always has friends. I mean the humans, Christian. I mean the humans. Humans are animals. That's true, but normally I just call them humans. Yeah, he's not an animal. They are. Uh, uh. Anywho, Bullcat always has little human friends, so he needs one. With his size, it would be really small, though. I'd get some humans that would go with this. I would totally buy skilled humans like i'd want them to move so they'd be really expensive which would be the problem mm, i don't need them to move but i i know your desire for that i want them to go inside the vehicles though That's... which is impossible because oh. randall says to put this on much. your record shelf i think you would go really well with the record i think you would too that. absolutely 100 percent because that that is a transformer shelf, right? That is an interdisciplinary transformer shelf. I have them on an interdimensional weirdo shelf with um, Galaxy Upgrade Optimus and Hotshot and Road Ranger and Puffer right now. I mean, right now he's on my desk. But before he was here, he was there. He's really good, though. Like, I really do like this figure a lot. The vehicle mode is good. But the um, robot mode is excellent. Like, it's just not really lacking anything. Christian went over the details and everything. But the articulation, which I am the only one who really mentions, is also really good. It's not missing anything, really. Yeah, he's got a he elbow. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Boom. he does. He's Boom. got good elbows. He's got wrists for no reason. And I love it when they put in wrists for no reason. He doesn't need that for transformation or anything. He just has wrists. Well, and it's he's, nice, he's too, that great. there's really no hollow bits. Like, I guess the inside mm -hmm. of the thighs are the only spot. But, like, the, they're fully painted. And every other spot, like, there's just no hollowness. So, like, yeah, I would call this nice clean, too. for sure. Right. So... To me, yeah. when I was playing with them, I put him in a special place with, like, Studio Series Hot Rod. Like, I feel like he's at that level, which is, like, that special place might be Voyagers lately. But um, I yeah. feel like he is at that level of, like, he doesn't have any kibble. He doesn't have any holes. He doesn't have any problems. He's a lot bigger than that guy for the same price point, but... Yeah. It's also not quite as intricate. He's more intricate than he had to be, though. It's still pretty you intricate. Could have been yeah. simpler. It's still pretty intricate. Yeah. yeah. You could have gotten from vehicle to robot without as many steps that made him better. So, anyway, I'm very pleased. I like him a bunch. This is a really great way to launch the Legacy toy line for me. Oh, I guess Black Zarek did. Let's repaint. This was great. I'm, I'm excited to see what the rest of the line holds for us. 
He's kind of my first bulkhead, too. Kind of. Kind of? I've had a Prime one for a while, but I still haven't transformed it. It's just oh, been man. in truck mode. So, I have an animated one, but yeah. And I don't have animated. Two animated and a Prime one. This is baby's first ball. bulkhead. All right. Well, I guess that's it, so... Um, he should be plentiful soon. Go, go, go! Pick him up. You won't regret. It. If you're on the fence, take my advice. Just go, go get him. You, you will like him as a toy. It's a fun figure to play with. Yeah, he's a good transforming action figure toy, robot friend. I agree. So, also, uh, if you want to check out our uh, discussion on bot bots, um, check out <laughs> TFLP on Monday or last Monday um that uh we went over that so that was that was fun i've heard there's some sort of tv show about that recently yeah it's on netflix is it one of those live action adaptations no so anyway um also book club this week is uh sunday night at 9 30 eastern 8 30 central and uh be going over till all in one 11 or 12 Sure. That's what I heard. Yeah, it's the rumor. Sounds good to me. I haven't been around in a while. All right. Well, I guess that's it then. So thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Um, thanks to Jacob and Randall and Phil. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So. Okay. All right. See you, everyone. Thank you.